A long journey and quest for Freddie Cuevas, showing up in court in his daughter's memory for eight long years. On Wednesday, he heard for the first time from Alexi Sayens, who admitted he ordered Kayla's murder back in 2016. He's an animal. He's, you know, he's inhumane. You know, I mean, would he have did that to his own family member, but the way they are? Who knows? Kayla Cuevas and Nisa Mickens were set upon with machetes and a bat. The now 29-year-old admitted in court because one had a dispute with other MS-13 members. Prosecutors say he buried part of the bat in the woods next to his house. Nisa Mickens' mother. At the end of the day, I want my justice for Nisa and Kayla and every other victim that was impacted by these people. Sayen smiled at relatives in court and touched his heart. In a hushed voice, he repeated, yes, your honor, over and over again in Spanish, agreeing to the guilty pleas. Due to cognitive limitations, his attorney read his admissions. I committed these crimes to help my status in MS-13. In all, 12 acts of racketeering, including the approval or commission of eight killings of suspected gang rivals or those who disrespected MS-13, among them Michael Johnson, savagely attacked. My son was homeless. Homeless. I just don't understand. The plea deal offers 40 to 70 years in prison. I don't know why the death penalty didn't stay on the table. U.S. Attorney Breon Pisa adds to say science's hands are drenched in blood doesn't begin to describe the extreme mayhem he personally directed, but he failed miserably. MS-13 has been decimated in the district.